I've spoken at length how recently manufacturers are becoming a little stale with the design of tech, and that's because many are trying to follow that minimalistic aesthetic. Smaller, slimmer, flatter, more boring. You can't deny that many tech products, even from mainstream companies, are losing character or are already completely soulless. And the worst thing is, it seems that everything is just becoming a carbon copy of the next thing. Recently, however, there's been a real turn of events, though. Look at the Nothing Phone 1, for example. Oh, that design is just ridiculously out there with its transparent casing and LED indicators on the inside of the phone. And then there's devices like the PS5, which is an absolutely monstrous design. But I believe both of these designs worked. And not because I liked them, but because they're divisive. So divisive that both of these products stirred up a huge media frenzy upon announcement. And the thing is, they aren't realistically that crazy either. But they certainly don't conform to the current design rulebook, that's for sure. Now, designing products like this is a great marketing ploy, but it's also a great decision in terms of creating design variants from the norm. Now, Sony and Nothing did very well with this, but do you know who I think does it better? Gravastar. Now, I said this in my review of their Sirius Pro headphones, that Gravastar are absolutely knocking it out of the park when it comes to design uniqueness, but with uncompromising sound quality. Sure, the design might not be for everyone, but they are inspiring conversation starting and will absolutely appeal to those looking for a piece of tech that stands out. Because I enjoyed the Sirius Pro headphones that much, I thought I might as well take a look at their largest speaker offering at this moment in time, the Mars Pro. This is no ordinary speaker. It's straight from a piece of science fiction. The colossal sphere, the main body of the speaker, is made from a zinc alloy, making it dense and heavy, weighing in at nearly 2.5 kilograms for something that, including the legs, is only around 20 centimeters cubed. The 20 watt output consists of a full range 2.5 inch speaker and one high frequency 1 inch tweeter, and can blast music out of its death ray style front for 15 hours before it needs to be recharged. Playback is through Bluetooth 5.2, which can be controlled through the unique touchpad at the top of this alien-like device. Let's face it, if this thing has been sent by an alien overlord to bide its time and spring to life while I'm sleeping, clawing me to death, I'd only be a little bit surprised. Initial impressions out of the box were that this thing looks insane and on my initial sound test straight out of the box it performed pretty much how i thought it might here's how that went logo on the phone <laughs> oh my lord this thing is already insane just look at it it's got like his feet can come out. Look at this. His feet can come out. That is going to try and kill me in my sleep. It's going to come alive and claw my eyeballs out. What an insane design. First impressions, though, are that most of it is metal. The entire top bit is metal. The feet are metal. You've got a bit of plastic just around here. But the build quality feels really good. It's a really dense and weighty product. It looks to me like we've got a touch control on top. So without further ado, let's get it turned on. Ready to pair. Wow. It's got lights on the feet. I didn't expect that. It's got lights on the feet. It's got lights on the side. And look at this on the back. Or the front. Is that the front? No, that's the back. Is it the front or back? No, because your controls are here. Oh no, so maybe that is the front. I'm actually really excited to try this. Bluetooth connected. Here we go. Start off quiet. Wow, 
now. It's not as loud as I thought it was going to be. The others seem to be much louder for the size of the product, but the clarity is spot on. There are a few buttons on the top though, and I don't know what they do. What does that do? Oh, look, it's changing the lights. Look at that. Hey. Oh, that's cool. I'm kind of speechless. It's so cool. Now, after having used it for the best part of a month, I've got some thoughts to share with you. Of course, my opinions on the design hasn't changed. It's absolutely crazy, but I do kind of like it. You certainly aren't gonna see another speaker quite like this, but if you thought this particular model was crazy, you best take a look at some of the other models like the Shark 14 Special Edition, which comes with dual Gatling guns, or the Aurochs model, which features changeable horns. The designs just get wilder from here. But even wilder are the design options of the optional docking station. If you didn't want to plug it in with a cable, Gravistar do this incredible looking charging stand to match this bizarre design aesthetic, which includes its own RGB lighting as well, making this thing stand out even more and a more standout permanent feature in your room, especially if you're going to be using it predominantly plugged in at all times. In fact, it's a wonder why manufacturers don't provide docking stations for more portable speakers to make them a more permanent feature around the home. Huh. I think that Gravistar know that you'll likely want this to be set up in a permanent spot in your desk setups or gaming setups, which is why they've made this stand. But even if you don't go for this stand, I think it looks great on its own in the corner of your desk where it's been for me for the past few weeks while I've been testing it for sound. And talking about the sound, overall, it's got a really good clarity. Nothing is massively overpowered. The highs, the mids and the lows all have good levels of clarity. And on the whole, it's handled most type of audio I've thrown at it really, really well. Of course, it's not the best speaker that I've ever listened to, but at a price of around £199, which is what it's currently at over on Amazon at the link below, I think that's a fair price for the sound that this thing offers, with the other benefits of having a style unlike any other speaker within this price range. This does have the ability as well to pair up with a second Mars Pro for stereo sound. However, I've only had the go at one at the moment, so I've been unable to test that particular function now. But I guess with Bluetooth 5, it should be pretty stable and it should make the clarity even more defined. Now, there's only one real thing that I found that I would have liked when it came to the sound, and that is a potential volume increase. It's loud, don't get me wrong, as you've heard, but I would appreciate it if potentially it was 10, 20% louder. It is a relatively compact device and it can put out a large amount of sound and excellent clarity, but I just felt the range of the volume was slightly lower than what I anticipated. But then again, most speakers that you listen to, when it gets to the 80% and above, will turn a little bit muddy, they'll lose clarity. So maybe Grammarstar have intended it this way so that throughout its entire volume range, it has good clarity. And they've certainly achieved that. The only other thing that I would have perhaps liked is some kind of smart functionality or Wi-Fi connectivity to perhaps to hook it up to my Amazon Echo devices or be able to airplay from my phone. But then again, with Bluetooth 5.2, it does cover all the bases and all devices, and I'm still able to pair it to a device like the Echo Flex for that smart functionality. But despite those two little things, the Mars Pro is a really solid little speaker with some really neat tricks up its sleeve. And as I've said before, I'll, I'll say it again, Grabstar keep hitting that spot for me, which fulfills my desire of tech that stands out, but whilst also providing a gadget that performs as or better than other devices within that same price bracket. I mean, look at it. The claws, the giant death ray on the front, the RGB lights, it's just insane. And I love it for it. And that is my conclusion on their top biggest speaker, the Gravistar Mars Pro. I think it's great. And if you're looking for this kind of wacky, insane design aesthetic that is 
instantly going to draw attention, then this is the speaker that you should go for. If you enjoyed today's episode and you found it helpful at all in deciding whether or not the Grammarstar Mars Pro is something you'd like, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe and that notification bell if you want to see more. And I'll see you back for another episode of Studio Reviews soon.